Shalom and welcome to Mitzvah Torah. This year is entitled Has the Free World Has the Free World Lost Its Appreciation of the God of Nature? The previous year in Hazinu, we mentioned that Avat Hashem, loving Hashem, is not only through the Torah that we learn, which certainly it's supposed to be, it's not only that, it's also appreciating Hashem through the laws of nature, science, physics, astronomy, biology. That's it. We understand whether it's on a superficial, basic level of seeing the wonders of Hashem, which is so impressive on it without any deep understanding, or understanding the physics, the ideas, the science behind it. And the more we understand, the greater our love of Hashem is. Has the film world moved away from that? So I'm wondering if a few factors have come to play over the centuries which have led to this <coughs> sad state of affairs. One, Sometimes science has come up with uh, ideas that have been heretical, denying God, denying providence. And therefore, the reaction has been just to reject all the science and not deal with science. And just put it aside and just deal with the God of the Torah, just not get into that whole topic. You talk about scientific theories, scientific advancement, and new insights. Yes, we'll benefit from the medical advancements, but we'll just keep it from the, at that. But because of the, the, the Darwin and where the world has taken it, there's no God, you don't have to believe in God, and so it happened randomly over the billions of years and the age of years, and all these kind of things, controversial. So it's just, it's just been sort of a distance that's been created to the world of science, which of course is tragic because there was so much to gain, so much Chachmas Hashem. The Pasuk says, Dor le doi shabach masecha. Dor le doi shabach masecha. Malbim says that in each generation, we're going to understand more and more and more about God's world. The normal whale with that long, long, long tusk in the front of his head, of the head. What is it for? They used to think it's some kind of magical, mystical part of the creature. And now we know it's a great sonar that can detect movement 100 miles away. It's unbelievable. There's so much advancement in science and so much that reflects Chachma Hashem. So yes, there's a danger with theoretical views, obviously. And we cannot embrace them and put it to good shadow where someone could read them at all. So book shadow, we can't even read something which is heretical. So fine, but that which is not, we should appreciate Chachma Hashem. And I think another fact has come into play over the years where there's and tragically, in my opinion, the denial of the laws of nature. Where all we see is just Hashem's hashkacha, as opposed to, no, God set up a system of nature, and yes, He will have in, He will intervene in that at times, and may override the laws of nature, but this is something called the laws of nature. Where God wills the system to exist, the laws of nature depends on His constant will for it to exist, but there is something called laws of nature. And there's something called gravity and, and, and physics and, and astronomy. And there's real laws here. And the more we understand them, we can be involved in greater amounts of Chachmas Hashem. And just to deny it, there's no such thing as laws of nature. Our great, great rabbi, who I love dearly and respect him for all his writings and his insight, the Mechtel Nehru of Desla. But in the first volume, he does say there's no such thing as laws of nature. It's, 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 all, it's all a myth. That's not, in my opinion, how the Rishonin wrote. The Rishonin clearly discussed the laws of nature. So I think two factors have come over the years. One is a fear of the scientists, and those are the ones who study nature, because they can't work with heretical views. They just sort of throw the baby out with the bathwater. Just don't talk about science and appreciate God through that world. And B... The, those that just deny there's such a thing of, of, of nature, that of course you're not going to appreciate God through that aspect, because you're not accepting there's such a phenomenon. So it's important that we understand that Hashem's greatness is expressed through the Torah, of course, and that should be the lion of our time, the big medrash learning, the gisab yom v'layla, but, but we have to have that appreciation, that sensitivity, to see the beauty of the laws of nature, the chachma, the wisdom of the laws of nature. And that is how we come to Avat Hashem, the addition to Avat Hashem that we arrive at through the Torah learning. We also arrive at Avat Hashem through studying Hashem's creation, His laws of nature as well. Shalom.